subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to never miss any update so guys i am going to change the smps of this old computer so let's open the side panel let's remove the old power supply from the cabinet so there are the four screws the ball remove the big socket which is the ATX, ATX socket so the SMPS is removed this, this SMPS is very light as compared to the Corsair BS450 so the new position PS is this this weight very heavy We fitted the SMPS in the cabinet and if you want to use a good quality SMPS you should don't use this type of cabinet you should use a cabinet with SMPS route so all the cable get hided so there are lots of cable with, we get with this costly SMPS so first so put put the ATX connector in the motherboard So we are getting these two, we are getting 8 pin and this motherboard supports 2 pins so we have to divide the pins and put in the motherboard. And other things to power is this, this fan with the molex connector. This is connected and other and other is the SATA, SATA power. This two SATA power we are using for hard disks and the DVD. So there are very there are lot of cable and it is very hard to manage this cable in this type of cabinet. I am, just, I am just using this SMPS for testing how to change the SMPS So see that SMPS fan is also running CPU fan is also running and the computer is started the two pins of the SMPS need to be connected first this 4 pin and there is a big pin which is the and there is an ATX connector which is in the side and the two, two SATA connectors and a Molex connected with this fan so if you like the video please give me a like anything to ask ask in the comment section if you have any question or doubts
सो थैंक यू